OK, we've all been told that losing weight is simple. All we need to do is eat less. This brilliant idea is based on a belief that the human body is also simple. But unfortunately, it's not. Let's take a look at what happens when you do eat less. If we eat fewer calories, let's say 500 calories less each day, the first thing that happens is that our bodies feel hungry. To replace the missing energy from lack of calories, the body will start to look for energy elsewhere and it turns to muscle mass first. Because muscle is easier for the body to burn, muscle will be used before fat. So eating less drives the body to break down muscle, which means we are losing weight. But in the long term, losing muscle makes maintaining weight loss really difficult. After a while, burning muscle as energy and eating less on a low calorie diet, the body's metabolism slows down. Now, once the body's metabolic rate has slowed down, we can only retain our new weight by holding our calorie intake at the new reduced level. So if we do return to our normal diet, we'll regain weight. And the weight we regain will be fat rather than muscle. However, if we follow a diet high in protein, like a real food ketogenic diet, and cut out sugar and starch, our bodies will burn fat as energy and we won't damage our metabolic rate as the protein in the diet will replenish any muscle the body may have burned. Even better, the high protein will keep us feeling fuller for longer. So, by following a low starch, low sugar, high protein diet, we feel full, our metabolic rate is protected, we sustain our inch loss and we burn fat and not muscle. And that's good!